Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you very much for joining me on Envelope Punchboard Week. This is our week-long video fest of seven projects that are going to be out on YouTube and five further video projects that are going to be available on my blog. So today I'm making a paper bag that has got everything built in from lids folded over. It has doesn't have an open base so this is super duper mega secure. Um, there's no openings whatsoever at the bottom and then with this particular one I've made the decorations within the cardstock as well but I'm going to make you a Christmassy version this time. So I'm going to put that right out of the way and it uses a piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper so forgive me I'm going to be wafting paper all over the place and if I go out of shot I'm ever so sorry it's just because I want the video camera to show to be as close up as possible without showing all my desk and also being so far away that you can't see what's going on. So full sheet of designer series paper we're going to mark it and score it at the one and a half inch mark so it doesn't matter whether you're working in a metric or imperial look you're looking for one and a half so mark that punch that even and score but be careful because obviously the paper is going right off the bottom of the paper of the punch board and then turn it round and this time you're going to punch at three and score down and again be careful don't you know not to go too far and then back for the third time at one and a half and score down and then at three and score down and now turn the paper over and start again I'm going to move this over slightly start again you scoring it one and a half and that is going to join up if you can see just there to one of the score lines that I made when we were on the other side so one and a half three and again that's going to join up one and a half and again joining up sort of joining up let me there we go and three Okay, and I'm going to flip it back so you can see the score lines better. And what I need to come along and do now is join up all my little notches. So that basically, the simple way to do that is to line up your score line here. You've already punched, so it's just scoring. And then keep rotating, following this score line here, and scoring across. Mm -hmm. And the same here and the same here. So that's the scoring done. I'm going to round the corners. Whoops. And actually I only need to round one of the corners. I'm going to do the opposite one because I might choose, I might change my mind, but there's only one is going to be on display. I'm going to move that out of the way. And actually I want to cut first because this is such a big piece of paper that I find it easier to cut. So the wider section here, and it looks sort of as though I'm, I'm wibbly and not following my lines properly. It's because of the way the, the cardstock pattern goes. So you've got the skinny section all across the middle. You want the bigger section here and you need to cut up either side of that. So I'm just gonna come straight down. And then I'm going to have to turn this over just because I find it easier this way. And then the same on the opposite side. Oops. Again, I'm just going to flip it over. I find it easier to work to the right hand side of the this peak here. This, this peak that's on here. And again, cut down. So we do need to do a bit more cutting. We need to get rid of quite a lot of this section here. Let me grab a pen. We need to get rid of quite a lot of it so that we've got essentially a small flap that's going to cut. And actually what do you do with the bits that you cut off? Well, in the case of the pink one, I punched out and I made flowers out of it. But you could do all sorts, because these are quite big pieces that are left over. 
Can you see they're, they're pretty huge. I mean, they're definitely not, you know, don't throw them away or anything. I had to throw things away. And like I say, I made the flowers. I managed to punch six out. I probably could have punched more, but I was, um, I didn't want to do any more on this particular project. But there was lots, there was plenty left over. So there we go, so there's all those. Right, now we're going to fold. So just fold on your score lines. All of these and these side ones. And now we're going to start putting glue on. So these sections that we've folded over, these are going to stick in that fashion. So I want to put adhesive on all of these. I'm just going to use snail for speed. Um, you could use sticky strip. I wouldn't use Tombow. It's, you know, it just wouldn't be sensible because it's too wet for paper and it would buckle or bend or warp the paper. So all you do now, so I've got my big fat side here and my thin skinny side and just line up so that it matches. Push push your hands in to make sure it's meeting and stuck. And then the same on the other side. I'm going to have to put this down on the on the worktop so I can make sure that it's properly stuck down. And the same over here again. Line it up and put your hand in to push and make sure it's all stuck down. And then the final one Again, put your hand in and push down. So that's all well and truly stuck. So that's the box now. So we could leave it as a box, but it's it's not going to close properly. So all I'm doing is I'm folding all three of those sides in. So I've got one that's still loose and just pushing in at the sides to make this gentle slope. pushing in to make this slope at the sides and it will just naturally quite happily work its way down and then after that this bit will just fold over I'm going to punch a couple of holes you're going through an awful lot of cardstock so you will want a hole punch that can stand up to that and then I've got some Bermuda Bay ribbon, which is this very delicate blue that's here hidden away. Just see it peeping through. So tie the bag up. I'm just going to do a rough bow. Actually, for all. For a rough bow, that's quite a neat bow. Snip off the edge bits. And then a little bit of stamping, because I'm not going to be doing a decoration like this because it is a Christmassy project. So I have around here somewhere the Whisper White cardstock. I've got the Christmas collectibles set and I've chosen this. Have I chosen this one? Yes. No, this one I've chosen. <laughs> and I've got my Bermuda Bay ink, and that would be my Bermuda Bay cardstock that I need to punch, which just landed on the floor. Oops! Let me reach for that with my squeaky chair. And I've got my matching ornament punch, so I'm going to have one of those. One of those, one of the spare bits of cardstock, I have one of the, or paper, I should say, and just layer the whole lot up. Find my dimensionals. So I'll have that one at the bottom, I think. This one over the top. That 
them on there. And then one of the frosted finishes, because they're so pretty. I'm just going to stick a glue dot on the back of that and put it over the top. And then a couple of dimensionals on here to stick it to the box or the bag. And that is a nice little bag. Well, actually, it's not a little bag, it's a big bag. It's a pretty hefty size. Um, and it's a, this one's a Christmassy one, this one, I don't know, the girly, new baby, something like that. But it's lovely and it's really sturdy because, like I say, it's not open in any way. It's not even been stuck down. This is a box that it flows all the way around, so nothing is going to fall out of that. So you could put a lot of weight in there. Um, but thank you very much, and I hope you like the project. Bye.